If you're getting annoyed at your slow growth and blunder, then making even one of the mistakes in this video could be holding you back. But how do I know that? I've made every one of these mistakes, and when I stopped doing them, everything changed. My renders went from looking like this to looking more like this. So how did I fix these mistakes? To find that out, let's travel back in time to when I was a brand new Blender user. There I am, staring down at the default cube, wondering what I should try making. Then I have an idea. I should watch a tutorial. This looks way too complicated to do on my own. I head over to YouTube looking for something interesting. And already we found our first mistake. Watching tutorials is a great thing to do. But when I was learning Blender, I constantly watched them but never actually touched Blender. Watching Blender Guru make a kitchen in 15 minutes won't actually teach me much and it won't make me get better at Blender. So what's the fix here? If I could tell my past self one thing, I'd say this. When you're watching tutorials, be in Blender 75% of the time and watch the tutorial for 25% of it. You'll learn so much more and get so much better by doing rather than observing. And if I'd realized this, the rest of the mistakes would have been so much easier to fix. For the second mistake, let's travel forward in time. Here I am, a little better at Blender, and I've just had a great idea for a project. I work on it for a little over an hour, but I accidentally turn the subdivision modifier a little too high and everything just starts falling apart. First I get this screen and I start to panic. It'll be fine, right? I can just wait it out. But then the window disappears and it hits me. I haven't saved at all. All of my work, everything I've done is gone forever. Even though I was using Blender and not just watching a tutorial, none of it mattered because I didn't save. The fix is pretty obvious here. Hit Ctrl or Command S as much as you can. This was a quick one, so let's get on to our next mistake. Let's travel forward in time even more. As time passes, I'm using Blender a lot and saving as much as I can. I'm looking for another tutorial, and as I'm scrolling, I notice how quickly some of these projects are created, and I wonder why I can't make an elaborate scene in under an hour. Every time I try, I get frustrated and annoyed with how it looks and how long it takes. This was my third mistake. As someone who makes Blender tutorials, 5 minute videos like mine take a lot of time to make. This one, for example, took over a week and it isn't even a how-to tutorial. Imagine how long it took to make the donut series. The lesson here is to be patient and not to be hard on yourself if you're taking a while. For many of my projects, I model a version of a scene, then I literally delete everything and start again because I'm not satisfied. This does take time for me, but that time is spent on making the final result even better. But doing this doesn't matter if you don't fix the next mistake. Now let's go back in time all the way to when I downloaded Blender for the first time, 3 or 4 years ago. Now, of course, I try to make my projects look as good as possible. What defines good for me is a pleasing result, whether that's photorealism or something more abstract. But back then, I loved the game The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And of course, I thought it would be really cool if I could recreate some of it in Blender. So I made renders like these, which I had a really great time making. They made me proud at the time, and I'd already fixed the fourth mistake. If you're making something in Blender, the most important thing is that you're having fun. Enjoy Blender, because if you don't, why are you even doing it? Over time, my interests have changed and evolved into what they are now, but the reason I stuck with Blender for so long is because I love it. Find what excites you and keep doing it. Speaking of enjoying yourself, let's travel back to the present. Every time I make something in Blender, there's always some part of it I don't think I have the skill or patience to make, like a cloth blanket or a really complicated object. But then in another scene I make later, I don't even think about making something like that, I just do. For example, a while ago I thought making a landscape with trees was impossible because I didn't want to buy any and because my modeling skills weren't that good. But later I made this, which isn't perfect, but I modeled the trees and they looked much better than I thought they would. And this brings us to the final mistake, not pushing yourself. The key way to get better in Blender is by doing things you might not think you can. Let's say you're modeling an interior scene and a piece of furniture looks really hard to model in Blender so you just decide to skip it. If you do that, you don't actually get anything out of the scene. Sure, it might look nice at the end, but you don't actually get any better at Blender. And now you've made it to the end. There's still one bonus mistake you need to fix, and that's not hitting the subscribe button down below. See you next time.